Hi guys, in this video we are going to be still looking at quadratics and how they may look different from the normal kind that we have been working with so far. Because sometimes students goes, um, go into the exam and because the questions may look a bit different they say, oh I've never seen something like this before. So I, I said to myself, let's just switch it up a bit, okay? Now, if you look at this quadratic, some persons may say it look it is looking a bit funny, you know, because now I have a negative 12 plus 7q minus q squared. Oh, this is not a quadratic. That's what some persons would say. Yes, it is a quadratic because the highest power of the variable is 2. And that's what you need to take note of. Any expression, as we have stated initially, that the highest power of the variable is 2, then that expression or equation whatever it may be is a quadratic okay uh, the key thing here what we have to do is to rewrite this in its general form uh, you may be used to seeing a quadratic in the form ax square plus bx plus c okay so you you may be required to rewrite this expression here that we have in the general form okay and if you notice the x the square term in x comes first then the term in x and then the constant okay now if you look carefully our square term is q square but this is a negative q square so you have to remember to bring the sign so i have a negative q square and then we have our plus 7q and if you know this 12 is a negative 12 so we have to take a sign the signs are very important now we can go over here and we know that the first thing we should do is to identify what our a is and in this case remember we have a negative q square so it's a one that is here so our a would be equal to negative one the next thing that we need to identify is our b's our b is equal to positive seven and c is equal to c is equal to negative twelve so since we have identified our a b and c then we can go ahead and find the product of a c and a is negative 1 times negative 12 c is negative 12 and that will give me a positive 12 okay now after finding the product now we need to find the factors of the product ac okay so we are finding our factors of the product so factors of 12 are 1 times 12 then we have a 2 times 6 then we have a 3 times 4 uh, by intuition by now we should get used to the fact now that okay I uh, I need a positive 12 but I need to add two numbers the same factors must give me a positive 7 when they are added so here I cannot change the sign on these because if I change the sign I won't get a positive 7 okay but if I multiply them out I will still get a negative a positive 12 rather okay so by process of elimination I know if I add 1 plus 12 I'll get a 13 so I can cancel that and again if I add a 2 plus 6 I'll get a 8 so I can cancel that because none of those two will give me a positive 7 however I no will note that if I add a 3 plus 7 3 plus 4 rather I will get my 7 which is B okay so I'm going to use that factor okay so I can now rewrite I can now rewrite my original here by saying I have a negative Q square and then I'm going to replace 7q with my factors plus 3q plus 4q and that's minus 12 which is my constant okay just let me get this up a little bit so we can have a little space here okay good now now we can factorize by grouping so now I can say what is common to negative Q and 3Q I'm going to take out my negative Q 
OK, then I'm going to open my bracket. So I'm going to say negative Q into negative Q square will leave me with a positive Q because a negative into a negative will give me a positive. Now negative Q into positive 3Q will give me a negative 3. OK, and then my sign here is positive, so I'm going to bring it down. And what is common to 4Q and negative 12? Well, 4 can go into 4Q and 4 can go into 12. So I'll take out my 4. Open bracket and I'm saying 4 into 4Q will leave me with a Q. And I'm going to say 4 into negative 12 will leave me with negative 3. Now, as we have stated initially, that I have the same thing inside my brackets. So I know that we are good. Okay? We're on the right track, my friends. So now this implies, oh, and maybe I should have my imply sign there. Maybe I forgot that. Okay, so this implies then I'm just going to combine what's on the outside of the brackets. So I would have a negative Q out there. And I'm going to combine it with my positive 4 there. Okay, and in the next bracket, I'll have... I'm just rewriting what's inside one of the brackets. Okay, guys? And that's it. It's it's that easy. You know, that's my answer. And I always say you could always expand these brackets and you would definitely get back what we started out with here. Thank you and bye.